Hey, what's up everyone? It's Skiller Dan HD here and welcome to episode 7 of my ultimate team. Now, the footage you see on the screen right now is something I forgot to show you before the pack opening yesterday, which is all the players from my previous team that sold and some trading I was doing with Martins on the web app while I did not have FIFA 13. Now, after this you're about to see my new team, which was a Premiership team in a 4-4-2 formation. Now, I had mixed feelings about this team. This is more of a FIFA 11 team like the sweaty ones you saw. But we start off with our goalkeeper, which was Fabianski, a right back, which is some random German Fulham keeper that I don't remember at the moment, my right center back, which is De Juro, my left center back, which is David Luiz, my left back, which is Kolarov, my right mid, which is Walcott, my right center mid, which is Michael Arteta, my left center mid, which is Milner, my left mid, which is Enzogbia, my right striker, which is Sturridge, and my left striker, which is Hernandez. Now, Sturge had more chemistry on the web app. He had the yellow boot instead of the red boot, but for some reason on the game, he had the red boot. And I switched Michael Arteta and Milner around just so Sturge can get some more chemistry to boost it up a bit. He ended up having seven. Now, first off, here we c come up against I IFC Rhinos, uh, Rhinos, and he has Nasri and Hernandez and Ash Cole, which is pretty good people. And Enzugbia here starts things off by crossing it off to Milner for scoring his debut goal, or first club goal, and my first actual copy of FIFA 13 goal. And Sturridge here taking it around the goalkeeper and doing a cheeky little chip that could have cost me the game because that went right under the bar. If I went over, I could have lost this game easily. But here he gets it back with Long into the bottom right corner. And this goal was okay, but there's some goals that frustrate me, as the one you'll see here in a second. And I felt like it was impossible to win this episode. Like, look at this. Uh, Fabianski with a terrible first touch. Then he kicks it out to one of his opponents. And his opponent gets it and shoots. And he just, like, twirling in front of the ball. He doesn't even try to save it or anything. He just stands there. And I have no idea why he was doing that. Like, he was playing really bad for me. And then over here, we got another play. Hernandez just taking it with his right foot, like, it's kind of a weird shot, but it looks really nice at the same time. And it just powers right into the left corner from his right foot. It's kind of like he tries to extend his foot a bit. So it makes it look pretty nice. Then right here we have Michael Arteta doing some skills to try to get past the players. Then just rockets it into the top left corner like he's known for. 91 power or 90 power, something like that. And, then, and that was in the 69th minute too. And then a through ball over here to Hernandez. His Hernandez, obviously, not mine. And then he just passes it in for a tuck and That was a pretty simple goal. Bottom left corner. And I'm having a bit of trouble defending at this stage. I'm, qu I'm quite past this stage now. But at that stage, I was having a bit of trouble. And this guy, he brought in Jose Enrique and a bunch of other people. Cool. And Ba. And Jose Enrique misses, but Ba gets the rebound. And Ba ends up scoring the goal for him. And that's pretty much how the game ended. It was a pretty annoying game. Or actually, no. There's one more goal. Hernandez, or two more goals actually. Hernandez here shoots it into the top. Um, I mean the bottom right corner. And then straight away he gets another goal right here from crossing it with Botanostri. And what a finish right there. I thought that was a pretty lucky goal. And I just feel like I can't win any of these like opening matches. Thankfully I don't lose, but at the same time I don't win. So there's my 1,000 coin bonus, I advance, and I only get 1 point from that game, which was really disappointing. Now here we come up against Ben's UT, and this guy has Gerard, Lampard, and a bunch of other good players, and Aguero too, and look at that, my keeper just takes a terrible touch, and Aguero gets it and just puts it right under him. Aguero seemed to have amazing finishing this game, and then look at here again, Aguero just puts it into the bottom right corner, my keeper couldn't do anything. By the way, I wouldn't recommend Fabianski. He's not too good. He's actually a terrible keeper in this game. I'm, I'm not sure. Really. He was good in FIFA 11. But here I managed to get something back with Walcott. Just a through ball, and he, he pulled his goalkeeper out. And also, Joe Hart seemed amazing this game. Like, he was stopping all the shots that came in at him. And that's one of the reasons I couldn't win this game. And then here, Walcott trying for a bit of a long shot. But it goes out for a corner. And... I cross it in with Michael Arteta and David Luiz hits it and David Luiz has also been doing pretty well with corners. And as you can see there, Joe Hart also saved that but he couldn't manage to hold on to it. So it went in but he was doing amazing that game so I don't think that guy was too lucky. But then after that right away, he gets another goal by like, this is a, some shit defending for me. I, I was terrible at defending at this point and he just crosses it in. 
hits it in with Podolski. And that was also a pretty annoying goal. I thought he was pretty lucky. My defender was right next to Podolski, but he didn't do anything about it. And then for the last goal here, we get it back with uh, with Sturrid just finessing it into the top left corner. Now, thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like and subscribe. And please follow my Twitter and like my Facebook page. Thanks for watching, and peace. Draw for this team now, Alan. What do you make of them? <laughs>